Hello, hello, hello there everyone in the Luxac Legion. Alex here with Luxac Games, starting us off with some mulligans here in Vintage. Hmm. Hmm. Sounds like this make me glad I can bottom a blight steel. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this. Alright, there's a sapphire. There's a fetch. Let's see what the opponent's starting us off with. I'm not happy about this force, but I think I have to make it. Alright. So what we draw into here. Looks like the opponent might be DPS or something. Like drop. Do we thought seize them? If we thought seize them, we have to do it with the gristle brand, which says totally we're wrong. I think we're probably good for one more turn. See, they were just mystical tutored in response anyways. And grab Tinker. All right. Not the best for us, that's for sure, because they're about to put a Bolus of Citadel in play. And that's basically our one turn. Uh, we have one turn to get this Gristle Brand in play. Yep. Points Tinker Resolves. Alright, Bolus of Citadel. Starting off with Dark Ritual. That's a strong start. Cabal Ritual. Yeah. Dark Petition. So you get to shuffle. Let's see what they... I don't get to find out what they grab. LED. That seems like a good grab. Fence Grid. Yep. So we won't be doing anything on their turn. Recall, sure. Preordain, yep, that's pretty good because they can get past some lands there. Oh, I guess they could have also just tutored for the tendrils and they're just looking for one more spell. That kills us. No, 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 opponent. I understand how uh, this works now. You're good, you're good. All right, so they're more of a ritual based deck rather than null rods. I still think chancellors are going to be amazing though. Hide spout less so. Unmasks are okay probably. I haven't drawn this lotus petal once. Uh, let's see. Probably trim two gristle brands because Chancellor's probably nearly as good against them, if not the same. And probably a bizarre Baghdad and try it like that. Would you like to play first? Yes, we would. <sighs> For keeping this, we're asking bizarre Baghdad to literally carry us. I think we can mulligan. There's enough cards in here that are bad. Well, I asked for Lotus Petal and I got it. All right, let's go ahead and put one of these Forbidden Orchards on bottom. I'm going to lead on Sapphire and recall ourselves. Recall target us. Misstep Dark Ritual. All right, let's go ahead and play Taxing Probe, target the opponent. Chain of Vapor, Double Duress, Time Walk. All right. Entomb there was a reasonable draw. Go and play out a Mox. Another Mox. Oh, sorry. Lowest Petal. Bizarre Baghdad, and let's go ahead and pass the turn. So we can Bizarre in response to the Duress, and then misstep it. All right, so let's go ahead and bizarre in response. Hmm. Do we even misstep it now? 
So we discard Orchard. Huh. Huh. And Tim's just the guaranteed. All right, let's go ahead and go with this. Black Lotus is definitely better than uh, Dark Ritual. Mental misstep this. All right, cool. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and entomb now because I don't wanna draw uh, what I'm putting in the grave. Let's go ahead and put Crystal Brand in there and draw a card. We draw Zoom. Zoom is a great draw. Let's go for that one. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to cast Zoom. We're going to hold priority, and we're going to activate Bizarre in response. It did not allow me to do that. Oh, well. That was what I was going to attempt to do anyways. Time walk here is pretty good. Let's go ahead and time walk. Play a Misty out, crack the Misty, and go to our next turn. Empiric Tutor, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Go ahead and start with a uh, Bazaar. Discard this. Discard this. Discard this. Go ahead and get in there for seven. And then I think we just pass the turn. Seems good to me. We have the ability to draw 14 cards currently. A little bit less if we have Empiric Tutor first. Sure. We don't really care about Vampiric Tutor when we can draw 14 cards. That's likely their take here. Yep. Yep. See what the opponent goes for here. Preordain. Go ahead and draw some cards real quick. Okay, preordain's fine. We don't want to go too low either. All right, so do we entomb end of turn here? I think we do. Let's go ahead and entomb for a Chancellor. All right, cool. All right, cool. We got there. We got there. Yeah. All right, so the opponent's about to bring in all the graveyard hate probably, right? I imagine. So is Osa just better now? Have to make them have a creature, which means we need one of these forbidden orchards. I think that's fine. I'll keep one of these bizarre bad Baghdads, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut two reanimates. No, two exhumes and a reanimate. Try it like that. Yep, let's try it like this. All right, we got a game. Let's see if we can get a match. Ooh, this hand looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. How far away are we from casting this Chancellor? Can we cast this on two? Three, four, five, six, seven. Three, four, five, six, seven. We can cast this Chancellor on turn two. That seems pretty reasonable. All right, opponent plays a Tormod script. It's pretty good against us. Go ahead and see what we draw into. Just fetch land. I think we're just going fetch land pass. And going for it on turn two. 
hoping they don't have force of will, force of negation, any of any of the many cards they could have. Duress. Yes. So I imagine the opponent's gonna try and take away our Black Lotus here, which takes away us casting Chancellor of the Annex. That being said, if they have two discard spells, they'll probably take away double oath of Duress. Let's find out. If they do end up taking it away, we have the potential to still find uh yeah, opponent correctly takes the Black Lotus. Good call. Good call, opponent. Let's see. Alright, so gonna pass to our turn. We don't really want to draw our land, so we'll go ahead and fetch at the beginning of our turn. Draw. Naturally, it's a land. Oh, hey, it's an unmask. Unfortunately, the opponent has a Tormod script. I think I'm in for unmasking our opponent, though. Go ahead and pitch Dark Ritual. What do you have, opponent? Demonic Tutor? Yeah, that's you don't have that anymore. You, you don't have that anymore. Alright, oops, almost have six through our turn. Alright, let's go ahead and pl put this Oath of Druids into play. Grab a Trop. Green, blue, Oath. Alright, all we have to do now is rip a Forbidden Orchard, which we have four of, Demonic Consultation, Demonic Tutor, any of those cards, and we're in a golden spot. Wonder what the opponent drew. Opponent handed was Dark Ritual last we saw. Unfortunately, the opponent did have the duress to take away our Black Lotus, otherwise, we would have cast a turn two Chancellor. Would have been so good, too. Let's see what we draw. Misty. Not that great. Not that great. Alright, let's see what the opponent has here. Just fetching the thin like we are about to. <laughs> uh oh, their draws are about to get a lot better than ours are. Yeah. They'd spin the top and potentially set up a. Let's see, they didn't have. Yeah, they only had Dark Ritual when we saw. So the opponent has two cards in hand. Of which they could potentially be setting up for a Force of Will. Luckily, they can't counter the um, lands ability if we happen to top deck the land. So let's yield until the next end step. Rack our fetch. I think we only have one fetchable land left. Yep, let's go ahead and grab Bayou. Step up, keep, draw something insane, something great. Okay. Okay, that's that's not something great. Go ahead and put this Oath of Druids into play. And pass the turn. We'll probably entomb away something else we don't want to draw. So all we need is Forbidden Orchard or a land off the top. Dark Ritual. Ugh. That's scary. Ball ritual. Is this a going to be a hard cast? This can't be a hard cast bolus to Citadel. Crypt targeting themselves or targeting us, sure. Yogmoss will. Ah, okay. So they are going to be casting it this turn. Sure. Oh, maybe we're just dead. Maybe the last card in their hand is um Oh, they have tendrils. Oh, yeah. Demonic Tutor for tendrils. Is still one short in mana? I didn't see what they grabbed. For Tinker for Bolus is Citadel. Alright, top plus Citadel kills us. Because there's, um... Anytime that they would whiff, they can just put uh, top back on top. 
So the opponent should have us dead here as long as they still have a win condition in their deck. But since it's game three, I'm going to make them show us a win condition. Literally at a uh, PTQ, I play, not PTQ, uh, 1K I played again at a um, opponent Narset locked me in Pioneer. But uh, I had already milled the castle. So I was pretty sure that they couldn't kill me. All right, let's see what the opponent doesn't get to reveal. All right, cool. I'm not going to make you click through that opponent. Well played, well played. Taking two losses in a row, unfortunately. Falling to two and two in the vintage preliminary. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Alex here with Luxat Games, asking you to like, comment, subscribe. And if you're going to buy some cards, use my code Luxat Games. Thank you so much for tuning in, and have an awesome day.